My balls are now in my throat. I hit a manhole cover. This bullshit. I don't get it. I really don't get it. Why do I keep forgetting about this shit? Fuck. Like, I know I'm not alone in the world when I say that doing this is probably not the best idea. At least when there's going to be traffic. But, I don't want to go the long way to Trout Lake because I want to stop at the Timmy's for a little bit before I go do stuff on my day off. And, it is actually pretty fucking stupid of me to keep forgetting about this. But right now I'm riding in the hard pack, which isn't too bad, but here comes this dude. I really gotta start remembering about this shit. Oh jeez. <laughs> yeah, this is great. Oh, well, maybe now this road won't be so full of fucking potholes every time I come down it. Which would be fucking great. Now all they need to do is do it to Lee's Road, which is the one right up here. I'm going to be turning on. Because that road needs to be resurfaced too. Man, this would be way less sketchy if I still had my old bike. Oh, man. Oh. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Like I said, way less sketchy if I had my old bike. Okay, come on. Oh, man. Oh, now I'm cold. Really, man? I hear that four cylinder engine. And you're just gonna. Okay. It has been a little bit since I've been able to ride to the full potential of this bike. I mean, it's been raining for like four days straight. I'm just surprised at how dry it got right away, at least on the roads. Which is very surprising to me. I'm being followed by an e-bike. Because traffic is moving super slow. Well, at least he knows better to come up right beside you. I'm going to blow the doors right off this van. Oh my god. As soon as that second lane opens up again, I'm blowing the doors right off that thing. Is it up here or after the lights? After the lights. Oh, at least now I'm moving faster than that fucking e-bike. That was ridiculous, man. Like, those things are speed limited to like 34 kilometers an hour. And it was going faster than me. Oh, wait, the second lane opened up here. That's better. It's actually, it's starting to get warm out, which thank God, because I didn't bring the outer shell to my jacket because I thought it was going to be nice because I was overheating earlier standing around warming up the bike. By warming up the bike, I mean getting all my shit situated. Like my camera and my remote and all that other shit. And 
I said, I was sweating. And then I get moving and I'm like, holy fuck, it's cold. Well, that guy's on a mobility scooter and like three wheels. Oh god. Is that a Tesla? Huh. I never thought I'd see one of those in North Bay because of uh, winter. It's one thing to have an electric car, yeah, but the winter here is gonna, well, according to some people, the newer electric cars have uh, battery heaters for when you plug them in in the winter. That way, uh, the lithium ion battery doesn't like basically commit suicide because it can get really fucking cold up here. But I didn't think I'd see one here because basically nobody really trusts that that I've talked to up here. I don't see a reason not to trust it, but the car is also, in my opinion, too expensive to take a chance on. And the range kind of sucks, and there's no quick charge stations until you get to like Toronto. So you're basically only using that around town. Not necessarily a bad thing if that was what it is, but it's way too much money for me to not be able to travel with it. Because I'm going to spend 60 grand on a supercar, or at least that's what it's kind of marketed as. I'm not going to be basically using that car all that often. And I understand a lot of people don't, like, actually drive their supercars. But if it was electric, I'd be all over that. Why? Because the fact that it's electric doesn't <laughs> it means, at least to me, that you're not using gas. And that's the whole reason why I don't own a pickup truck. It, I could have got one, but I decided on a RAV4 because I could just put a hitch on it and throw everything in a trailer. This is what I mean by there's only two seasons in North Bay. Winter and construction. Wherever you go in North Bay, in the summer, I can guarantee you there's road work. Usually I'd turn left there, go through that road, but it's closed right now. So you yeah, come this way through this fucking neighborhood and then if I, you basically pick where you want to come out going that way so you just basically pick your poison because each one of these roads oh, that one's blocked where the fuck are you close to I'm not gonna risk it because it looks unfinished it really does look unfinished. I didn't know they actually had nice houses in this neighborhood. Okay, now it's paved again. I'm guessing that, yep. <laughs> That's a thing right there. Okay, so yeah, I did just cut across a closed road, but oh well. <laughs> That's all I can really say to that is meh. Fuck, I need to adjust my idle. Oh my God, really? Oh, I'm not getting out of this for a long while. I'd rather be on a supermoto than this thing, but that's going to be a long while off, I think. I'll probably wind up on a full out enduro again before anything else, which will be kind of good for me, I guess. I mean, Lord knows with these roads I can use it. And I'll get into off-roading again. And going off-road is fun, but being able to handle these fucking road surfaces is even better. I'm glad to see that they're actually working on this street, though. Because I could have picked a better time to come across it. Shit's fucking ridiculous, man. I just hit a ridge in the road, and it, like, made me go right. Holy shit. I'm shitting my pants now. Oh, finally! Finished surface. Oh my god, I've missed you. How long do you carry on finished surface? How long do you... No, all this because I wanted to see if I find the electronic cigarette store that's apparently just opened here. Thing is, it's supposed to be on either this road or main. And I am at current caught in the worst traffic known to man because they're working on the fucking road. Uh, it's pretty fucking bad, man. Oh man, this is fucking brutal. Well, I guess this is to be expected. I mean, this is two lanes of traffic being condensed down to one. I mean, to be fair, that's a lot of traffic to be putting in one lane. Oh God, that smell. Ugh, that's nasty. So nasty. What is that stuff right there? Oh my God. I hate that smell. Holy shit. Oh no, he's turning. 
You don't fit, dumbass. Well, people appreciate me being nice and don't fucking like make me rear end them or ram me. This person behind me wasn't being particularly nice apparently. Well, at least the steamroller's coming out. I mean, that whole road surface is gonna be so much better now. This whole road area was fucking terrible before. I don't even see the shop I was looking for, to be honest with you. All I can hear is my fan going. Don't worry, fan. We're almost through the construction. You'll you'll be fine. You'll be fine, fan. Oh, fuck! Oh, my balls. See, it's so humid out. I got water underneath the LCD part of the screen on my gauges. I think it's underneath. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna have to get them to check it out at the shop sometime today. At least that's how it's been. It's pretty fucking humid. I haven't had any problems with this bike so far, though. I mean, it's done me pretty good. And then it likes to crush my balls. I mean, that's kind of a problem. Ever so slight of one though, I mean, it's no big D, I just gotta go over bumps slower. I'm not on a bike with a long travel suspension anymore. But I need that kind. I need that kind. Oh my god. Well, at least this road has been resurfaced recently, this one. Oh yeah, they got a DR at that pawn shop. Wonder if they'll let me take it for a rip there, buds. Go for a rip. Go for a rip there, buds. Uh, I gotta stop saying that. You know, I've been looking for a store that's probably gonna want to be on this street, and I haven't been looking for the past two or three blocks. Isn't that awesome? I'm the best at looking for shit. Fuck you.